FTC or Feed the Children has been working in Kenya since 1993 and is registered as a non-governmental organization. Feed the Children started its work in Kenya back in 1993 and we have uh, different activities implemented in different counties. Currently we are in Nairobi County, Kajiado County, we are in Saburu and Trokana. The organization implements its activities through four pillars, namely food and nutrition, health and education, water and sanitation, and lastly, livelihood development. This morning you have seen we are not just feeding children. Why is feeding so important? Because we want to keep you in school. And the end objective is education. At any point in time when this education is being threatened, we are worried. And that is why HIV AIDS prevention is so important to us. The HIV prevention program aims to increase HIV and AIDS awareness, promote cultural, behavioral attitude, and skills. Currently, we have HIV and AIDS prevention and uh, HIV and AIDS reaching out to the communities. And in HIV prevention, we are working in schools. We target uh, school-going children and also out-of-school uh, orphaned and vulnerable children. Currently, we are targeting organized support groups outside the community. I'm Mr. John yesterday. Could you turn your tomorrow? In Nairobi County, FTC has established 25 schools and health clubs named Children for Life Clubs or C4L Clubs. In those 25 schools, we have what we call C4L Clubs in full Children for Life Clubs. Each of those clubs has 50 members and those members, out of the 50 members, 10 have been trained as peer educators and they have qualified, they have been given a curriculum that has the various topics that are relevant to HIV prevention amongst the youth. We are advocating for long life which is free from HIV and AIDS and also drug and substance abuse. FTC has organized an annual interclubs competition purposely for the children to fully participate in HIV and AIDS prevention. This was organized in three levels. We had the preliminaries, we had the semi-finals, and we had the finals. So in the preliminaries, we brought together all the 25 schools that have clubs to come and uh, showcase how well they are able to disseminate HIV messages. And we selected four items that they were, they were, able, to, they were able to present and to be assessed on. We had poems, we had public speaking, we had uh, songs, we had drama and skits, and we had solo verses and choral verses. <laughs> Check it. You should be in the 
are here, adjudicators, I know you can, you can help me to, to, to share the message with all the others because not all Kenyans can fit in. we have been able to award uh, the best uh, with trophies and certificates and also other uh, educational related uh, presents just to motivate the peer educators so that they can be able to continue with a good job. So we congratulate the children, uh, both boys and girls, for their creativity at this level. And we hope that by next year, uh, with the knowledge that we have given and the more that we shall continue giving unto them and their assistants, we shall have more schools participating, more information going to the children, and then they'll be able to practice what they are teaching others in their own lives. Thank you very much. What I got to learn from this club, it's a foundation, for, it's an organization formed by Feed the Children. It started in the year of 2011. And what I got to learn from this is to be a good peer educator. I was able to be taught on effects of HIV and bad peer pressure. Each one to reach one, teach one to keep one. That's why we say, all of you, we, should, we will be going out there to teach people on peer education. That's all I have to say. 
HIV can be spread through having sex with an infected person without protection, through mother to child during birth, but the main thing about HIV AIDS is abstinence. If you abstain, you're going to have a good future and you're going to learn in your studies so that you can be a better person in the future. For us all children, let me tell you, you have to abstain from sex before marriage and also you should not you should you should not have bad friends who tell you to use drugs or engage you in immoral behaviors thank you c m members children for life ftc will continue working closely with the young to achieve its goal